My childhood was like a fairy tale. I was an only child with two doting parents that made sure my days were filled with beauty and lots of love. Until one day, my family of three became just me. My parents were on their way home when a car came head on into their lane and that's when I went to live with my cousin's family in Sun Valley, Idaho and spent my summers in Montana with my grandfather. Josh Lake was my first true love. Josh's brother Sam became like family to me. I threw myself into work and I had a career path all planned out. Until once again, my plans were interrupted when my grandfather left me his ranch in Montana. Big Sky is not where I thought I'd end up, but my mother used to tell me when God closes a door, start looking for a window. I was too young to understand what she meant then, but I'm beginning to. It might seem quiet here now, but it won't be long till this ranch comes to life again. Bright Star Ranch will be a place where kids can come for a week-long summer camp, have fun, and learn new social skills at the same time through equine therapy. As they take care of the horses, they begin to heal past hurts and learn to trust again. It's amazing what being around a horse can do for you. Good girl. Paisley! Anna, what are you doing? Me and Mommy picked up my cake. <gasps> Is it chocolate? <laughs> How did you know? It's my favorite. We were just coming back home from town and thought we'd stop in and see if you needed anything else for tomorrow. You bring the cake and the kids, I've got everything else. Oh, and let me know when you open up the registration for summer camp. I know it's going to fill up fast. You're at the top of the list. Oh, well, I'm happy to volunteer to cook or do whatever you need. Thanks, Cindy. Mm -hmm. OK, Anna, say bye to Paisley. Bye, Paisley. Bye. See you tomorrow, Anna. <laughs> what do we got? Please say yes. Please, please say yes. Dear Ms. Sheridan, thank you for your recent application. We appreciate your interest in the Equine Grant Program. Unfortunately, at this time, the funding is not available. Please resubmit at the beginning of next calendar year. got the new foster client. Took you long enough. Well, thank you very much. I really wanted to showcase the brand's uniqueness, but identifying their core values. That's something that was really important to me. The concept has great energy. Thank you. Th thank you all for your input. I really appreciate it. Nice job. Thank you very much. Yeah. Would you mind taking a look at a logo I've been working on? Absolutely. I'll swing by after lunch. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, we got a lot of great feedback. What? Look what Mandy found. Well, this is my campaign. Yeah, sure looks like it. Um, but this is our competitor. Marcus, what are we gonna do? And you have no idea how that would have gotten out there. No, of course not. Well, until we find out who did it, I need you to take some time away from the office. Hang on, just let me talk to Mr. Cooper. I can handle Mr. Cooper. Marcus, you know I had nothing to do with this. I do, but I have to think about our clients and what it looks like to them. Just lay low for a few weeks. We'll get it straightened out. 
Uh, okay, just let me know if there's anything I can do to help. What kind of person thinks that it's okay to take someone else's idea? Intellectual property can be hard to prove. I know, but if I just had a chance to talk to Mr. Cooper, I know that I could explain that I had nothing to do with him. I heard he's already starting to shop around for a new agency. I don't know. Marcus said he wants to handle it. I hope he does. I was thinking, as long as I have this time off, we could go on a little trip together. You're kidding, right? You want me to meet your family? How do you expect me to introduce you to my family? As my unemployed boyfriend? Uh, I'm not unemployed. I'm on suspension. Josh, it looks like it was you that stole the ideas. That's what people think. I think that we needed to take a little break. You go on your trip, and while you're away, we can decide what it is we both really want. I know what I want. Have a nice trip, Josh. I'm so sorry. I went ahead and applied for a loan at the bank. They said that the process should move pretty quickly. Well, if you need a reference head, then give me a call. I will. But in the meantime, it can't hurt to start looking for some help. You know, I'd hold out for one of those tall, dark cowboys. I don't care what they look like. Could be a cowgirl, as long as they know what they're doing and have some muscle. Maybe I should apply then, hmm? Stop. That's Josh. Hello, can I help you? Uh, yes, I'm driving up to Sun Valley. My car started making some noises. Sun Valley? Oh, are you vacation? Family. Oh, how nice. Yeah. Uh, anyway, my, my phone doesn't get any service out here. Oh, that's not surprising. So, I was hoping I might be able to use your phone, make a call. Oh, you could, but let me get you a cup of coffee first. It's so cold out there. <laughs> Thank you. Paisley, you want some whipped cream? There we go. Made a little heart for you. Well, I tried. It's abstract. Paisley? Paisley Sheridan. Josh? Hi. It's it's been a while. A long while. If I didn't if I hadn't heard your name. Yeah, not too many Paisleys. No. So you left Sun Valley? Oh, she's running Bright Star Ranch that her grandfather left her. Really? For you? Yeah. I guess you've been staying in touch with Sammy. A little bit, yeah. So you know when he got back from the service and he started volunteering as a fireman? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't get much more All-American than that, can you? No. No, you can't. No. Uh, the phone is in the back if you'd like to make a call now. I'll be right back. What is wrong with you? Nothing. You barely said a word to him. Because I have nothing to say. He's not wearing a wedding band. You don't have to have anything to say. It's called small talk. You could ask him what he's doing now. <gasps> or you could ask him what he's doing for dinner. I don't care what he's doing. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, well, sounds like I'm not going anywhere. Mm. News for a set assistance is three hours away, and they said they can't get to me until the morning. Oh, that's too bad. I'm sure you're tired from all that driving. Oh, no, I'll be fine. I think I'll call my brother, have him drive down from Sun Valley. Oh, not from Sun Valley. Not with these roads. It's not a good idea. Paisley has a room in their bunkhouse at the ranch. Uh, no, no, I, I don't. It says right there on your flyer, you know, a room and board. Honestly, I could sleep anywhere tonight. Fine. I hope I wouldn't be imposing. Oh, no, you're not imposing at all. Paisley's a wonderful host. <laughs> I really appreciate it. No problem. Let's go. Thank you. Whose is that? It's mine. I thought you said it broke down. No, I, I said she was making weird noises. I couldn't just leave her on the side of the road. <laughs> no, I don't suppose you could leave her there. Let me just grab myself. You two are ruthless. All's fair. In love and war. There's no love or war. Anything between Josh and me happened a long time ago. We haven't even talked since for a good reason. We were only trying to help. Well, don't help so much next time. I came in to tell you he's leaving his car out front. Will you give the keys to the tow truck in the morning? Sure will. Thank you, ladies. Good night. Good night. The child is just like her grandpa. <laughs> Sweet as can be and stubborn as a mule. She needs us, whether she knows it or not. Oh, I suppose. You gotta be kidding. What? This is your truck? Yeah, I thought about getting a little sports car, but it's not great for hauling hay. Probably not. Hop in. you didn't fly. Uh, I needed to get out of town quickly. <laughs> you rob a bank? Depends on who you talk to, I guess. I'm glad you're going home to visit. I was beginning to think you were going to sleep all day. Come on in. There's breakfast. Hey, do you have a phone I can use? It's all on the table. Thanks. No new messages. Hey, is there cell service anywhere around here? It's pretty spotty. Oatmeal? 
Thanks. I called Charlie to take a look at your car. So you gave up marketing and you're robbing banks now. Yeah, I felt like it was a more secure career choice. <laughs> I always knew you had a bright future ahead of you. A competitor's commercial started airing that was uncannily close to one I'd been working on for the last six months. So it looks like I stole their idea. Anyone that knows you would know you wouldn't do that. That's what I thought too. Hopefully though, it will all work out. It will. So you want to turn this back into a working ranch? I want to bring kids in for camps and teach them about horses and how to care for them. Wow. This is going to be something special, I can already tell. Really? Yeah, I can tell just by the way you're talking about it. Thanks. You know this is going to be a really big endeavor to take on by yourself. Have you ever thought about bringing on a partner? Just even someone who could share in the expenses? So I just applied for a loan. Once that goes through, I'll be able to hire plenty of help. I have to say, I'm really impressed. Because <laughs> I, still, I still think of you as the girl that's... I'm not that girl anymore. I know. I know you're not that girl anymore. At least that girl could beat me in a horse race. Don't worry, I can still beat you. Yeah? Well, we're going to have to take your word for it. You think you remember how to ride? Charlie, what's the news? Sorry, I can't get the new alternator until tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I'll tell him. That was Charlie. You need a new alternator. When can she get it by? They'll order it today. It should be here tomorrow. I can rent a car and then return it on my way back and pick up mine. Don't do that. You can stay here one more night. You sure that wouldn't be too much trouble? It's no trouble. Wow, look at all of these. Please tell me this is you. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. What's this? I'm working on a new logo for the ranch. Are you kidding? Show me. But it's nothing fancy like what you do. Let me see it. <sighs> nice. S star Horse Ranch? No, uh, Bright Star Ranch. So if it were me, I, I would suggest something simple and really bright, and that's... Not. What do you think of when you think of Bright Star Ranch? I'm not good at this. Come here, let me show you something. Come here. Get up, come on. Okay, so first things first, we're in this beautiful mountain setting, right? And the bright star. The sky here at night, it's... Magical. Yeah. May I? Come here. Have a seat. Okay. The greatest designs and ideas are the ones that are so simple and perfect that when people see them, they think to themselves, I should have thought of that. You don't want complicated. How about that? If I had a little more time, I could play with it. I'm gonna tell myself you're speechless because my ego can't take much more. No, I really am. I'm speechless. 
Do you have any idea how long I worked on that horse? Uh, I'm sorry, I can... No, it's, it's perfect. I just can't believe you did it so quickly. Yeah, yeah that's what I do. Or, or what I did, at least. The verdict's still out on that. They'd be crazy to let you go. Princess Anna will be here soon. Princess Anna? Princess Anna turned sick today. Let me know what I can do to help. Hey, Pace. Sam, it's Josh. Josh, what are you doing at Paisley's? Well, my car broke down. I have to get a new alternator, so I'm staying here. Was that her idea? I'd say it, it was mutual. Can I talk to her? Uh, she's busy. Sure you don't want me to just come pick you up? No, 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 because then I'm going to have to come back here tomorrow to grab my car anyway. All right. Tell Pays I said hi. Right. I'll see you later. Time for cake. No. Anna, don't you want cake? Well, they can't blow out candles without you. Is this the birthday princess? Why, yes. This is Princess Anna. Her royal subjects are awaiting her presence, so they may celebrate her sixth year of living. Fair maiden, I have traveled a great distance to find me. Would you do me the honors of allowing me to escort you to the festivities? <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Right this way. Thank you. Mmm, chocolate's my favorite cake. <laughs> bam! Bam! And the princess, my fair maiden. Come on, Daisy. He won't be here long. Don't get attached. Get attached to who? No one. I don't have time to think about anything but horses and bank loans. Paisley, you don't always have to be so strong. Paisley, can I get a picture with you two? Everybody smile. Oh, that's perfect. Say thank you to Miss Paisley and Mr. Josh. Thank you. We had a wonderful time. It was a lot of fun. Hey, I'm actually helping her with her social media. Would you mind tagging us in that photo? Sure, I have so many great photos of the ranch. I can share them with you if you want. That'd be great. Fun. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for the help today. How are you attracting business? I put flyers up in local businesses, and when I can afford it, I'll place newspaper ads. But mostly word of mouth. People knew Grandpa, so they still come. Why don't you let me help you? With social media, your website, I can create a marketing plan. I can't afford you. How do you know you can't afford me? I've got a good idea. And I need a ranch hand right now more than I need a marketing plan. So, well, just feed me for a few days. Let me stay in the bunkhouse. I'll even help out with some chores around the house. Josh, you can't do that. Yes, I can. For the first time, I don't have to be anywhere else. No, I mean, you can't do that. You haven't been around a ranch for a long time. It's hard work. So I haven't been in a barn lately. Just get me some good work boots. I'll be ready to go. Why would you want to? Because I need to keep it. That's all. Try 
this one. What do you think of this one? As a fashion statement. Why do you always give me such a hard time? You kind of make it hard not to give you a hard time. And then I guess what they say is true. Clothes make a man. It's not just the clothes, Josh. And buying new ones doesn't change anything. Okay, when I was younger than Anna, just five years old, I asked Santa for a horse for Christmas. How did Santa do? Well, I woke up Christmas morning and I ran to the window and standing right in the front yard was this gorgeous horse. So I ran out the front door, just yelling that Santa had brought me this horse. <laughs> and then it took off. He ran away. <laughs> yeah. Well, he must have been wild and just wandered down from the preserve. Oh, no. Yeah, my parents had gotten me a bike. <laughs> anyway, just because I work at a desk now instead of a pasture, I'm still the same. Okay, cowboy. Get this hat and I'll introduce you to Butch. To Butch? Who's Butch? You'll see. This way, it's a nice view of the ranch. Hang on, it's been a while. I got service. Whoa. Butch, whoa, hang on. I, I, I just have to check my messages real quick. I thought you wanted to ride. This will just take a minute. Hey, Marcus, it's Josh. I'm in Bozeman, Montana. The cell service is horrible. I'm in Big Sky Ranch. <laughs> whoa. whoa. You're good, you're good, whoa. Wow. What is wrong with him? He's just letting you know he's not a desk. <sighs> I've never been thrown from a horse before. Technically, he didn't throw you. He just wanted your attention. Well, he got it. Hey, Paisley? Yeah? Whoa. Can we never talk about this again? still. Uh, I think Butch has it out for me. Butch just wants you to know who's in charge. Obviously, he is. You need better gloves. I think there's some at Grandpa's out in the barn you can use. Thank you. Leave it on for a few days and it should be fine. You ready for dinner? What can I do? Nothing. I just put some cornbread in the oven. So we're just waiting on that. It does smell really good, but you've always been a good cook. Oh yeah? What did I cook? Don't you remember when you made me that really big Mexican dinner for my birthday and the sopapillas for dessert? <laughs> and you ended up in the emergency room with third degree burns? Yeah, but the food was really good. 
and it was very memorable. Hopefully tonight doesn't end at the hospital. That might as well be a million years ago. How have you changed? Let's see, since I was 16, I got my braces off. Okay. I went to college and I got a job as head of human resources at SV Enterprises. It sounds pretty cushy. So what made you want to leave? Yeah, it was nice. I didn't worry where my next paycheck was coming from. I had benefits and a 401k. It's very grown up. Then when Grandpa died, he left the place to me and it just felt like I should do this. So I gave all that up and here I am. Ever think about selling it? And the property around here has really gone up. I can't do that. This is where I'm supposed to be. And I really admire you. I haven't done anything yet. So I came out of college with a business and a marketing degree. So then when I got offered this job at one of the top agencies in Denver, I didn't even think about it. I just, I just took it. And yeah, I, I like my job, but I'm not changing the world. I bet you are for your coworkers and your clients. That's very kind. That's a good way to look at it. But as of right now, I don't know what my coworkers think of me. My client is off shopping other agencies. So you're hiding out here? I'm not hiding. Uh, I'm waiting. If it doesn't work out, there's probably a reason why. You're right. So I'm gonna start focusing on what I can do, like building you a marketing plan. Remember, I don't have money to spend on anything fancy. No, 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 I know, not fancy. The idea is to get other people to talk about the ranch for us. Okay. Thanks, that was really good. I'll finish up here. You no, go on. Are you sure? I'll see you in the morning. Okay. Hey, Paisley. You haven't changed. Josh, it's Marcus. I got your message. What's up, Marcus? How are you? Look, man, I wish I had something more to tell you right now, but I'm still working on it. What exactly are you doing on a ranch in Montana? Oh, I'm just helping out with a few things. <laughs> Cowboy boots and all, huh? I even got the hat. Look, brother, I gotta go, but I'll get in contact with you soon, all right? Hello? Hi, Paisley. Hey, I have an appointment with Mr. Marshall. Oh, sorry, I forgot to call you to reschedule. Mr. Marshall had to go to Chicago for a family emergency. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Is there someone else I can talk to you about this? I think he just wanted me to sign some papers for the loan. He didn't leave anything, but we can reschedule for Friday. Okay, what time? 10 o'clock. Friday, 10 o'clock, I'll see you then. Sorry again. No problem.
Come on, girl. Hey, stranger. Sam? <gasps> you always show up just when I need you. It's good to see you, too. <laughs> what are you doing here? Ah, figured I'd come rescue Josh. Rescue him from what? Me? No, I heard he was having car trouble. You know, mechanics, they'll take advantage of a guy like Josh. <laughs> I don't think Charlie's going to take advantage of anyone. I don't know, sports car, gold credit card? They'll see him coming, trust me. Fine. Looks like I need to go visit Charlie anyway. Well, hop in. I'll give you a ride. Thanks. <sighs> so I'll see you with you guys. There's no deal. I'm helping him while his car is getting fixed, and he's helping me with my marketing. That's all. Pace. What? No, I'm serious. <gasps> Does Josh know you're coming? He will. Sammy, what are you doing here? <laughs> oh, sorry, I couldn't resist. It's okay, Josh is used to it. Hey, I know you're used to sitting behind a desk now, but Paisley? Come on. It wasn't Paisley. What was it? <laughs> but. Hey, Sam's the one that tackled you. And whatever happened, I never mentioned that again. Paisley, run! <laughs> Oh, uh, you're as big a pain as ever. Good to see you, too. What happened to your truck? It decided to stop before we got home. Luckily, Sam came by to rescue me. <laughs> I'm really surprised to see Sam here. Me, too. I think he just wanted to see you. If you two aren't too busy in here, you want to try turning over the engine? Sure. You want to ride with Sam? No, I'm good. All right, I'll follow you. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Jim. Hey! So the old boy missed me? I'm afraid so. I'm hoping it's just the battery. Yeah. Ah. You must be Charlie? Hi. I'm Josh. Nice to meet you. So I have to say, when Paisley said Charlie was working on my car, you're not exactly what I pictured. Eh, I get that a lot. Start for Charlotte. Oh, bad news. Your alternator hasn't been in yet. Really? Sorry. They just keep coming. Charlie, this is Sam, Josh's brother. He's here to make sure you're not ripping off Josh. Nice. Wait, so that's why you're here? I don't need your help. And no offense, but mechanics are notorious for taking advantage of someone who's not a local and ignorant when it comes to cars. Okay, hang on. I wouldn't say that I'm ignorant when it comes to cars. I'm sorry, you look very nice. Don't let my lips deceive you. So, you wanna come watch me change a battery? Sure. You wanna get some coffee? Yes. How long will it take? It won't take too long, but uh, take your time. Been doing things all on my own Until you came along But this feels more like home I think we belong It's so different I'm finally seeing life out on the ledge And I'm loving this feeling I think I could let my
Where did you learn how to do this? My dad. This is his place. I uh, run it for him. He's in semi-retirement. Him and my mom spend a lot of time traveling. I used to follow him around in here and watch everything he did. When I was five, I could change a set of spark plugs. Well, I don't know what I was doing when I was five, but I know it wasn't that useful. <laughs> By the way, I'm uh, sorry about what I said earlier about mechanics. Hey, it's true. You gotta keep an eye on us. So, uh, how long are you gonna be in town taking care of Josh? I don't know. I heard he was waiting on a new alternator to come in. Ah, yeah. I could put a rush on it, but it's gonna be an extra charge. Yeah, it's not necessary. You can stick around for a few days. I could show you around if you like. Yeah, I like that. Okay. <laughs> Are you the new owner? Yes, I'm Paisley. Welcome to Bright Star. I'm Laura. You must be Johan's granddaughter. I am. You need my grandfather? Our family comes out here every year for the wagon ride, and we're so thrilled that you kept this going. Well, I'm glad to have you back. Johan's done so much for this community. He'll be missed around here. Thank you. Hi. Um, the photo you just took, mm -hmm. would you mind tagging us? And then we can put you and your family on our website. I will, but let me get a shot of you guys. Uh, hang on one second. Sam, come join us. Say Bright Star. Bright, Bright Star. Star. Hey, Paisley. Hi. Thanks for the invitation. Thanks for the new battery. Anytime. Paisley, come take a look. Not too bad. Not too bad. I look great. <laughs> I'll send these to you guys. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, it looks like we're all here, so if you'll go ahead and take a seat, we'll get going. I brought hot chocolate. Ooh, hope you like it. <laughs> King, Virgil. I just can't believe that I'm in the mountains, driving a wagon. It's so fun. What are we doing in Denver? I take the train to work. That sounds like fun, too. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, it's not. Then why do you do it? Because uh, it's the most efficient way for me to get to where I'm going. And when you get to where you're going, do you like it? I guess so. I really like... I really like figuring out how to help the client and taking a concept from nothing into something that people can see and share. That's it. That's pretty cool. Well, it's not driving a wagon or anything like that. <laughs> Maybe I'll let you drive next time. I, I want to take you somewhere tomorrow night. Where? We'll see. We'll see, but it's going to be cold, so you're going to have to guess one. Where are we going? Well, I'm glad you liked it. Because if you're open to it, they want to do some cross promotions with the ranch. How would that work? Uh, well, a lot of tourists, they're looking for more than one unique experience when they're in town. So they would promote us on their website and we would promote them on ours. I would tell people to come out here anyway. It was so much fun. <laughs> well, that's why they invited us out here. 
to see all of this. Oh, but Paisley, I was thinking we could invite them out to the ranch um, for a wagon ride, something like that. That's a great idea. Let me get a photo uh, for the website. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> Sounds like you and Josh had a good time. It was a work thing. Yeah, you've said that like nine times. Because it's true. Admit it. You have feelings for him. He's going back to Denver just as soon as he can, so there's no reason for anyone to feel anything. Because it wouldn't make any difference. You sure? Don't say anything. What would I say? <laughs> hey, it's warmer in here. If you'll help Sam with the fire, I'll make some hot chocolate. Do. Not today. You can go first, Pace. You're the only one who's called me Pace since high school. Yeah? What does everyone else call you? My grandpa called me Minskat. Minskat? <laughs> it means my treasure in Norwegian. You want me to call you Minskat? Pace is fine. <laughs> so Charlie and I are going out later if you guys want to come. You and Charlie are friends, right? And I want to spend time with my brother. Yeah, it sounds fun. Okay. We have half price burgers and dance. <laughs> yeah. You must be Josh's brother. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for your service. You come by the cafe and you eat for free. Might take you up on that. You better. <laughs> Charlie, you tell him all about our famous chicken fried steak. Oh, I love it. Come on, Dot. Let's let these kids get back to their days. <laughs> so, Charlie and I are going skiing on Friday. You guys want to go? I can watch the ranch if you want to go. That sounds like fun, but I can't. Josh, you want to go? I would love to, but I have to get to work. We tried. <laughs> Come on, Sam, let's dance. Please tell me you remember this one. Uh-uh. <laughs> Come dance with me. Yes. Yes, 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 please. Come on. Fine. We're up to the hotel room of my feet. But I never made it there Cause she come tearing through my life like a tornado Coming on hotter than a big potato She spin me around and see you later On a hater but I love her instead That brought back memories. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if there's a limit to apologies, but I'm really sorry about how I handled things when I was young and stupid. It's okay. We both were. 
When I left for school, I thought that either you were going to come visit or I was going to come back but after school. But you never came back. I know, and then after college, I, I got the job, and then that was that, and then you were already dating someone else. You kept track of me? Uh... <laughs> no, I wouldn't exactly call it that. <laughs> But Sam is really good at knowing your dating status. Yeah, he's pretty handy to have around, isn't he? Yeah. I may have asked about you once or twice. Really? You were engaged. <sighs> yeah. What happened? I don't know. Nick was great. It just wasn't right. Nick. I don't like him. You don't even know him. <laughs> Come on, let's play pool. I know enough. So, why haven't you ever mentioned Josh before? Uh, because Josh hasn't been around for the last 10 years. Looks like you're picking up right where you left off. That song just brought back a lot of old memories. There must have been some good ones, huh? They were. Hey, so Sam is the sweetest guy I've ever dated. Do I owe you like a finder's fee? Sam's definitely a good guy. But you two never dated? Actually, he's more like a brother. All right, who's next? You. Okay. These days, so, what are we looking for? Um, there, we're gonna start Start where? <laughs> uh, down here. Sorry, I thought I saw Bree. You thought Bree was shopping for hardware in Montana? <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, no. No, I, I guess not. Maybe you should just call her. Clear the air. You could obviously use the closure. Well, thank you for the relationship advice I already tried. Hold these. Didn't help? No, she's not responding to my calls or my texts. Oh. Well, then I think you have your answer. You are free to move on. I never said I wanted to move on. Your face did. Or, anyway, I think this is all we need to fix the wagon for the hay rides. Yeah, the uh, clicky things. So what's next? Uh, I've got one more stop to make on the way back. That's it. Can you put this on a necklace? Sure. Did you want to do silver or gold? Silver, please. Okay. All right, let me grab a couple chain styles to choose from. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This would be perfect. I can have this done for you by Friday. Does that work? Yeah, thank you. Hey, Sam, you ready to go? Yeah, I think I'm going to get this for Charlie. You've known her for less than a week. Oh, so I should be more like you, like a girl for 10 years and then get her a gift? What Paisley and I have is complicated. I know. I'm sorry, what's complicated? You like her, right? I don't want to see you get your heart trampled. I made it back from war. I'm pretty sure I can manage. I know, but I'm still your big brother. It's my job to protect you. Well, you don't have to be my big brother anymore. I'm all grown up. Yeah, but you still act like my annoying little brother. <laughs> Tell you what. How about I work on being a little less annoying, and you work on staying out of my love life? Wait, now you love her? Ah, oh, it's just an expression. Well, it's a good thing I'm here to take care of you. You'll end up married by the end of the week. Would that be such a bad thing? All right, so look at me. You have to have one hand right here, and then you have to brush like this, okay? You wanna try it? You can look up. <laughs> he likes it. Good job. What? Okay, I think he likes this. I think he likes this, okay? You wanna have one hand, you just wanna brush. Josh, you ready to go? Yeah, are you? Yeah, that's why I asked if you were ready. What, is something wrong? Um, I would just, you know. No, I don't know. Wear something other than jeans and a flannel? 
I'm going to get money for the ranch. This is how I dress. Okay, you're right. I wouldn't change a thing. <sighs> Fine. She'll thank us later. Don't look at me. You're making me nervous. Sorry. Sorry. I don't know why I let you talk me into wearing this. I'm not comfortable, and when I'm not comfortable, I can't focus. Hey, you look great. You look great. Just trust me. You look like someone who means business. Okay. Have you got the shopping list? Yes, I have the shopping list. Good morning, ma'am. I'll be right with you. Paisley? I didn't recognize you. <laughs> Are you going to a funeral? Uh, no, I have my meeting, remember? Oh, yeah. Miss Sheridan. It's nice to see you, Mr. Marshall. Likewise. Would you please follow me? Please have a seat, Miss Sheridan. Would you like some coffee? Um, no, thank you. Now. I've recently acquired the assistance of a marketing professional from an agency in Denver. He's redesigned my logo and came up with new ideas to promote the ranch. No. Oh. Let's have a look. Nice. Very nice. And you were able to hire an agency? On trade. Room and board at the ranch. <laughs> I admire your resourcefulness, Ms. Sheridan. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Unfortunately, we won't be able to offer you a loan at this time. Um. Why? The risk factor is too high. What does that mean? We look at the success of similar businesses and factor in the amount of revenue that it would take for you to repay back the loan. I already have kids that want to come and people that want to volunteer. I, I understand that you're disappointed, but it looks to me that you're going to do just fine. No. The new logo and your marketing are really, really sharp. I know I, I, know I can make this work. I'm sorry. Well, what if you didn't give me the full amount? Instead of 350000 what if I asked for 250000 I'm afraid it doesn't work like that, Miss Sheridan. But I do wish you the best of luck on your ranch. With your resourcefulness, I have no doubt that you will figure out a way to get your business off the ground. Thank you. dressed up for that guy. I am never, ever wearing heels again. Just drive, please.
He said it was too risky. And you'll figure out another way. That's what he said. Sorry. That was my plan B. I know how you feel. Do you? Because it looks like you always get what you want. Like I get what I want. If Marcus doesn't clear my name, no other agency is going to hire me. You had a setback. I'm sure your boss will figure out what happened. I was so sure I was getting the money to finish. You're so convinced I'm going to get my job back. Why don't you let me loan you the money? Uh-uh. Absolutely not. I'm not taking money from you. No, no, you're not taking my money. You're letting me invest. This is my dream, not yours. I know. I know. But that doesn't mean other people can't share your dream. Gig organizations, they do it all the time. They find people who care about what they care about. I've been to dozens of fundraisers in Denver, where the ticket prices were ridiculous. But the money goes to a good cause, so nobody cares. I don't run in the same crowds as you do, Josh. When the receptionist saw me dressed like this, she thought I was going to a funeral. Okay, okay. so then do something here that shows off Bright Star. You could host something in the barn. Lots of people come to Big Sky for the winter. Lots of people with money. So why don't you give them an opportunity to fund your summer camp? I don't know how to throw a fancy fundraiser. Think of it like a really big princess party. Yeah, I guess I can do that. We can even do a silent auction. We can get some of the local businesses to donate some items. That could work. Okay. This looks delicious. You do the frosting and I'll place them in the oven. this idea. I do too. It's a nice little touch to give a gift when you're asking for a donation. You're gonna need a taste tester though. If you want them to donate, it has to be a good cupcake. How is it? I'm gonna need another bite. <laughs> Charlie, mm -hmm. thank you so much for helping with this. You're welcome. That's what friends are for, right? Here are the donation forms. Uh, Josh and I will take this side of the street. Sam, why don't you and Charlie take the other? Okay, so do they get a cupcake even if they don't donate? Yeah, give them a cupcake and a form. Maybe they'll tell someone else. All right, on it. Okay. See you guys later. Thank you. you. Okay, let's go. So I'm pretty sure this is our last batch. I think so too. I can't believe how everyone has pitched in to make this happen. Letting us borrow decorations and donating food. Oh, I even sent out some press releases, so we should be getting some buzz soon too. Thank you, seriously. already have 20 donations for the silent auction. There's trips, gift certificates, a spa day, balloon ride, and people are even donating scholarships for the camp. I mean, this is incredible. <laughs> I think I'm gonna bid on all of them. 
Wouldn't that be a conflict of interest? Uh, you're probably right. Can I at least donate to the scholarship fund? You can, but you've already given so much. Like, the website? I love the new design. You did an amazing job. Really? Well, thank you. <laughs> hey, I was thinking about inviting my parents. What do you think? That's a great idea. Perfect, because I told my mom we'd FaceTime her today. Like now? Right now. Hi, baby. Hey, mom. How are you? Hi, Mrs. Lake. Paisley! Oh, it's so good to see you. You too. So, Mom, Paisley and I were planning the cowboy ball and wanted to know if you and Dad could come and help. Are you kidding? It sounds like a blast. Yes! Afford me the details. I'll pass it along to Tracy and Emily. Maybe they can come too. Oh, that would be fun, wouldn't it? It's a deal. We're coming. All right. See you soon. Thanks, Mom. All right. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I love you. Bye. This is really happening, isn't it? <laughs> I'm Kyle Gray from KBZK. Thanks for coming out, guys. Yeah. Come on in. I appreciate you letting us swing by now. We just came from the resort doing a piece on the ski patrol and their rescue dogs. Well, thank you. We really appreciate you guys taking the time to be here. Okay. So, Gary's going to be filming while I ask you a few questions. Okay. Your names? Um, Paisley Sheridan. Josh Lake. Can you tell us about the ball and what that's all about? We'd love to, yeah. Paisley is the new owner of Bright Star Ranch, and she's gonna be turning it into a retreat center and a camp for kids. Tickets for the Bright Star Ball will be raising money to help her get it started. So this is Paisley's project, so she can tell you all about it. Miss Sheridan, have you always wanted to run a camp? As a little girl, my two favorite places were summer camp with friends, and the other was here on the ranch with my grandparents. We rode horses and went fishing and had campfires. I never imagined I'd have the opportunity to combine my two favorite places, but at Bright Star, uh, through nature and equine therapy, I'd hope to be able to make a difference in children's lives. That was great. Uh, we have a lot of horse people here in Montana that are going to want to help you. Uh, how'd you come up with the idea for the Bright Star Ball? Oh, Josh is helping me with marketing. It was his idea. Tell us a little bit about the ball. What should we expect? There's going to be a lot of great food, wonderful music, and dancing. <laughs> and there's a silent auction with lots of great items donated by local businesses. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'll be fine. I'll be right back. That's perfect. Nice. Yeah, right there. Hey, can we get you in the photo, Mr. Lake? No, sure. Yeah. Great. Oh, yeah, that looks great. Perfect. You really think people are going to pay that much for a ticket to a dance? Yes, they do it all the time. I've only sold two so far. One was to the man who turned down my loan. I think he felt bad. Well, next year we'll start promoting the ball much earlier. Oh, shh, it's on. As a little girl, my two favorite places were summer camp with friends, and the other was here on the ranch with my grandparents. Tell us a little bit about the ball. What should we expect? There's going to be a lot of great food, wonderful music, and dancing. <laughs> and there's a sign auction. It's going to be a lot of fun. That was a great interview. Thanks. You guys look good on TV. Stop it. Hey, Paisley. You gotta see this. Is it good or bad? J just come here. 
I just want to have enough people to break even. Dot and Annabelle are already ordering food. Well, I hope they ordered enough. We're sold out. I'm gonna see if Charlie wants to go grab some. Um, that's a good idea. I'll go with you. Let me grab my purse. I didn't ask her to come with me. <clears throat> this way I can tell Dot and Annabelle they need to up their order. That's a great idea. Don't say anything. I needed some air. Can't you just be honest? At least with me. Because this isn't going anywhere. We both know it. So I'd rather not be miserable when he leaves, okay? There you go. <laughs> we saw you on TV. We sold all the tickets. Can you believe it? Wisely, wow. that's wonderful. Um, oh, I forgot my notebook in the truck. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. So Paisley's in love with Josh. I knew it. But he doesn't love her. Oh, of course he loves her. Why couldn't he love her? No, he does, but he won't tell her and she won't tell him. And I've been sworn to secrecy, so it's down to you two. How much barbecue did we order? No, oh, don't worry about the food. We got more than enough. We were expecting you all to sell out. You were? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Sam, could you help me out back? I've got some heavy boxes I need help moving. I just hope I don't forget anything. What are you gonna wear? Um, I thought I'd wear jeans since I'm gonna help you guys serve food. Oh, fiddlesticks. You can't do that, you're the host. Okay, then I'll wear a nice sweater and curl my hair if that makes you feel better. I just don't have time to go shopping. I was afraid you might say that. I have an old dress that I know will fit you. No, no, that's not necessary. I can find something in my closet I can wear. Oh, wait here, wait here. You ready? I'm waiting for Annabelle. She's getting me a dress to wear to the ball. I know what dress she's talking about. Ooh. Annabelle, it's beautiful. I wore this for my engagement party 50 years ago this month. Well, I can't possibly. It's too valuable. Yes, you can. And here's something for you to wear in your hair. Baze, you got two fairy godmothers. I know. <laughs> Thank you. Sure you don't want me to just do it? No. I got it. So, sounds like you're planning on sticking around a little bit after what you said last night about helping plan the ball again next year? Yeah, I can always come back next year and help. I don't have to live here. You could, but I'm not sure that's how Pays heard it. Of course, I'd love to stay with Paisley. It's been amazing, but it's not that easy. Why you always gotta make things so hard? Because it's everything that I've ever worked for. Not to mention, it's a lot of money. I'd be letting down my entire company. And it sounds like you already made up your mind. Come down. Hi, come on in. I can't believe you did this. Well, you gotta eat. You got too much on your plate, so to speak, to be worried about feeding Josh's parents. Thank you. If they're not here soon, just pop it in the oven. It'll stay warm. We're going to go ahead and get things set up in the barn, so if you need anything, just holler. Hmm? I will. Thank you, ladies. I'll see you later. OK, bye-bye.
too long. Your place is gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. Good for you putting these two to work. I've been trying to do that for a long time. <laughs> oh, Emily, this is Paisley Sheridan. She runs the place. Paisley, this is Emily. She puts up with Trayson. Hi, I'm so glad you could make it. We are too. So nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm Trayson. <gasps> yes, nice to see you again. Annabelle and Dot delivered breakfast, so I hope you guys haven't eaten no, yet. No. Mary Ann was so anxious she wouldn't let us stop. <laughs> I know you have so much to do, and we want to help. <laughs> Thank you, and yes, I have a long list. Just tell us what to do. Well, why don't we eat, and then we can show them around? Oh. Let me get it. It's probably just someone looking for directions. Hey, please give me your coat. Make yourselves at home. There's bacon and eggs, and oh my gosh, Dot and Annabelle may be best. Bright star, this is Josh. Josh. It's Marcus. Marcus? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. What's going on? Look, man, I got some news for you. We found out who it was that leaked your reports to the Rogers Agency. Who was it? It was Bree. <clears throat> Bree? I can't believe she'd do that. Obviously, she's no longer with us. But I've got some good news. Mr. Cooper has decided to move forward and insists on working with you. Uh, yeah, yeah, that is great news. He's coming in to sign the contract first thing tomorrow morning. So we'll see you here tomorrow at 8. I understand, and I'd, I'd love to be there, but I'm helping a friend with a fundraiser, and the event is literally tonight. My entire family drove down from Sun Valley. I'll tell you what. I'm going to make a donation to your friend's fundraiser. A large one. Don't even care what it's for as long as you're seated at the conference table tomorrow morning at 8. I'll be there. You coming? That, that was my boss on the phone. I have to be back in the morning. But you can stay for the ball. I'd love to. But you'll be fine. My family's... My family's here to help. Yeah. My boss said he's gonna make a large donation to Bright Star. That's great. We both got what we wanted then. Yeah, I guess we did. Well, it sounds like the deliveries are here, so... Paisley? Yeah. Good luck with everything. You too. Paisley for me? Yeah, you should give it to her. We already said our advice. Take care. grandmother passed. Johan and I became quite close. I'm glad he had you. He asked me to marry him. He never said anything. Because I told him no. Why? I was afraid. I'd already lost one husband, and I didn't want to feel that pain again. Annabelle, I'm sorry. I missed out on a lot of happiness trying to protect my heart. And then when he died, it hurt so bad anyway. And I realized that we had wasted all of those years that we could have had together. Did Sam tell you to tell me that story? No. No one knows. Not even Don. 
I'm telling you this because I think you and Josh still have the possibility of a happy ending. No, we can't. He's going back to his life and he'll forget all about Bright Star and me. Don't forget me, Miss Scott. You are a treasure. And I can tell by the way Josh looks at you, he knows that too. something good in your life, don't let it go. I wanted to take a minute and say thank you for spending this evening at Bright Star Ranch. To all my dear friends that have shown up and worked so hard donating your time, and the local businesses that have donated decorations, food, and items for the silent auction, I could not have done this without you. It's been my dream to help children through equine therapy here at the ranch, but it was a friend who encouraged me to let others share in on my dream. So I just wanted to say thank you for sharing this dream with me. And don't forget to bid on your favorite items. <laughs> <laughs> your chance. May I have this dance? Is there such thing as destiny? You look incredible. Do you Thanks. Believe in fate? I thought you were supposed to be somewhere else. I can't think of anywhere else I'd rather be than right here with you. What about Denver? I'm not going back. Why? Because you're not there. Josh, you can't give up everything you've worked for. That's your dream. I had a lot of time to think about what I really want and how to make it happen. So when I finally got cell service, I called the client directly, and I invited him out here to Big Sky to go skiing as my guest at the resort. And he agreed. Yeah, he actually really loved the idea. He prefers the mountains over the office setting. He wants to come out here to sign the contract. That's great, but you'll eventually have to go back. I called Marcus, and I told him that I would sign the contract, but only if he'd let me work from here. If that's okay with you. It took a while, but I realized it's so I can still hire a real ranch hand, right? Definitely. <laughs> Faze, you just hit your goal. <laughs> You're serious? Yeah.
This is unbelievable. Party turned out perfectly. I know. Paisley. What's the occasion? No occasion. I just wanted to. Where'd you find this? I had it made just for you. Because you shine. Just as bright as the Montana stars at night. Let me put it on. I love it. Thank you. Since you're sticking around, I've got something for you too. Oh yeah? What is it? you the horse you're giving me butch if you're staying in montana you've got to have a horse you want to take him for a spin you think you can keep up oh you ready 